Hey guys, iTouchVid here, and I'm going to do a review of Air Mouse. Air Mouse is £1.19 in the App Store, and it is a must-buy. So if you don't know what Air Mouse is, it basically turns your iPod Touch or iPhone into a mouse slash quick launch bar for your PC or Mac. So what you'll have to do is download this little application on your PC called Air Mouse, obviously, as I have here. And to get it, you'll need to go to mobileairmouse.com. Then just launch it, and then at the bottom here, just double click it. And this window will pop up with the server settings. So you don't have to actually touch any of these settings, it's just useful to know. So it tells you your IP, your port, and you can even add a password so other people can't connect. And here's where it's useful. You can add hotkeys for certain keys, and you can do a program setup so you can manage certain programs from um, a little app in Air Mouse. And if I go to Air Motion, Touch Motion, and Scrolling, this isn't like that useful. It's just to change the pointer speed. So, so when you're using the mouse, like the mouse doesn't go too fast or too slow or something like that. Then just press Apply and Done. So then we can go to the iPod Touch. We'll just launch the Air Mouse app. It says Mobile Air Mouse. And as you can see, it has connected. So if you can't connect, you just press this little button at the top and you can try and find a server. And as you can see here, I have this little keyboard. If I just bring up Notepad on my PC and just start randomly typing on the keyboard, you'll see it gives a preview on the actual iPod Touch itself and it is actually typing in the background, which is really, really useful. So I just undo that. And if you see, the mouse area isn't that big, so there's two ways to solve this. One way is just to shake the iPod Touch, and it has all gone. And another way is to tilt it to the side, and it turned into like a little laptop trackpad. If I just show you the mouse, and to prove it works, if I just start moving it, it's kind of hard to see, but if I just move it down there and zoom in a bit, if I just show you that the mouse is moving. And as you can see, it gives like this little yellow glow when you're using it. So if I just go to like recycle bin up the top there, and then just double click it, just to prove it works. And my PC is being slow, so sorry for that. But anyway, it, it does work. There it is, recycle bin. If I just close that. And the cool thing is, say if I minimize Notepad and then maximize Notepad, you'll see on the iPod Touch, it'll actually say Notepad, which is really, really cool. If I shake it to bring up some other options, you can do um, Control to hit the Control button. You can press the Start to hit the Start button and Alt to hit the Alt button. And also, if I just press this button here, this little hash key, it'll come up with like a mini calculator, which is really useful press this F key next to it, comes up with all the function keys. The same on the keyboard, but I want to do something else, like go to the application manager. I just press this little button here, and as you can see, it's come up with a lot of my applications. And if I just zoom in here, you'll see under the notepad icon, it's got a little blue dot. That shows that it's running, which is actually really, 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 really useful. <laughs> okay, so anyway... I can just tap any of these and it will launch the application. If you just look on the PC, if I just scroll over something like Firefox, you'll see on the PC it says Mozilla Firefox. If I just focus in there a bit better. And I can just, while I go over these, it actually shows them, which is really useful. And say I want to launch, uh, say, Game Booster. I just tap Game Booster and it's launched there. And also say I launch Chrome. What it does, as you can see, it has g given me these options. This is because Chrome is obviously a browser and it gives you these special options. So I can press Home, takes me to the home page. I can go to Search and at the top there, it has hit the Search bit. I can press Refresh and it refreshes it. I can go Stop and go Favorites or Bookmarks and it works really well. Also, if I press Music, I can control a music player the web and then I can go back to the dock and the keyboard so that's air maps